we'll take a look at this old restored building. This is the African American Firefighter Museum, and it is the first and only freestanding museum dedicated to African Americans in the fire service in the country. Housed inside Old Fire Station 30 on Central Avenue, just outside of downtown, this was one of only two fire stations in Los Angeles where African Americans were allowed to serve between the 1920s and 50s. According to the museum and LAist, the history of black firefighters goes back to the late 1800s and a former slave from Virginia named Sam Haskins. He only fought fires for three years, though, from 1892 until 1895, and he lost his life that year responding to a fire. Others soon joined the ranks. Some of the other uh, pioneers included five men who were also Tuskegee Airmen. At this museum, you'll learn the amazing story of George Bright, one of the first black firefighters to rise to the rank of lieutenant. He was moved here from, with four other black firefighters in the early 1900s when this area was predominantly white, and even after the Supreme Court's historic ruling in 1955 that ended segregation, things were far from easy for LA's black firefighters. There are stories of immense hostility and discrimination that these men and women were met with, being forced to eat separately from their white counterparts and having to provide their own kitchen supplies and utensils. It wasn't until photos of all this were taken and given to the media that things finally began to improve. The station would continue to provide service to the city until 1980, and then it was closed after earthquake damage was discovered, and it, it sat empty into the 1990s until former firefighter Arnett Hartsfield Jr. approached the city with the idea of turning it into a museum. He had also led fire station integration efforts back in the 1950s. After an extensive rehabilitation and after being declared a city and national historic landmark, it opened to the public in 1997. On display inside, besides the amazing individual stories, you'll also find vintage engines and lots of memorabilia and Artifacts. They also offer tours and workshops, and they have a school-based program through their Junior Fire Cadet and Future Firefighters program. To plan your visit and learn more about this excellent and unique museum, visit aaffmuseum.org. Take a look at this from SkyCal. I'm Desmond Shaw. Desmond, thanks for that look from above. Now take a walk with me. I want to bring you here inside of the museum to give you a more in-depth look. Burton, historian, African American Firefighting Museum. Meet Brent Burton, retired LA County fire captain, co-founder and historian for the museum. He revels in the resounding resilience of these brave firefighters, like Sam Haskins, a former slave. So he's our first African American firefighter and the first to die in the line of duty for LA Fire. We didn't even know he existed until 2002 when the Times told us about him. So apparently he came on the fire department in 1892 worked down in East LA area, and responding to a fire around November of 1895, he was killed when there was an accident and he lost his balance and fell. Among the vintage fire cart, old uniforms, helmets, art, and artifacts is this replica of the first fire pole. What folks don't know is the fire pole was invented by Chicago firefighters in 1878. <clears throat> engine 21, an all black engine company, uh, is known for creating the first fire pole in, in history. The experience here at the museum is immersive. It gives you the opportunity to step back in time. In the front room, which was the recreation room, is where all our chiefs and women in the fire service are. And then the back side, we have what's called the international room, which is highlights firefighters outside of LA. How important uh, is it for us to keep this history of black firefighters alive? Very important. It's, it's what we consider momentum of memory. If you don't lose, if you lose your history, you lose your power. And so we want to make sure that people know what has transpired here, what it took to see the fire service today in the integrated setting where people have diversity. We enjoy a, a woman fire chief. We've had black fire chiefs in the past. Those things were impossible if it wasn't for black firefighters back in the day proving that we belonged here. If you have an interesting location you'd like Desmond to check out, just email us at lookatthis@cbs.com. At Thank you so much for joining us for this special edition of Look At This as we took a look at LA's black history. I'm Chauncey Glover.